Hey folks, Roland here. Another episode of In the Hot Seat uh, with a new special guest, dear friend from a million years ago, John Thibodeau, aka T Bone. Hi everybody. He's uh went and uh, copied my hairstyle when he we heard he was coming on my show. We put our heads together, we look like a butt. Yeah. We're going to be doing here today something along the lines of the uh, fancy man's version of cheese and crackers. I should have got a plate of grapes here to go in the middle of it. That would have been nice. Yeah. As you can see, we have two different types of cheese and two different types of crackers. Um, you want to try them individually? Do you think we should uh, put them together, make them a little fancy schmancy, or just... Yeah, we should try them individually. You know, we want to sort of get the purity of the individual uh, cheese. Fair enough. Well, let's start with the first one here. Give a... Show that to the camera. Let me see the front of that. That's a uh, Triscuits, thin crisps, chili pepper flavor. I don't Very know about strange those. box. Yeah, it's like a Chinese takeout box. Okay, yeah. let's see this. Pour them out. Let's uh, see what we got going on here. Mm. So we get the the bouquet. Hmm. Come on, my chili powder. Yeah, I know. I'm not smelling a lot of spicy spice. More so just a, just a kind of Gennaro, uh, yeah, it smells like, um, what's that cooking spice? Uh, this would be adobo. It smells like all spice. Mm. Yeah, they look, uh, entertaining. A little buttery. Yeah, it's very buttery. Not as good as regular Triscuits. I know, surprisingly enough. You think if you combine two things that are really good, like uh, Triscuits and chili peppers. Yeah. I think they're too buttery. Yeah. Yeah, not mm. very much spice either. No. See, I wasn't sure about that, because sometimes they advertise things as they just go for chili pepper as opposed to hot and spicy, which apparently in the world of food are two different things. Yeah. By the way, uh, John here is a professional food preparer slash cook slash baker, so I trust his opinion on this. Mostly baker. Mostly baker. He's a, he's a, he's a what's it, a food artisan? Yeah. Artisan food crafter? I'm an artisan baker. There you go. The magic. So what'd you say about the overall flavor of these? Uh, one to ten. I'm gonna give it a five. I think Maybe that's... a six on a good chip. I was gonna say, that one right there looks like it's got a, a good fair amount of a frost split it. Yeah, let's go for that. He could have gone with the grain. <laughs> he went against the grain. Story of my life. Hmm. Yeah, it's got a little bit more on it, but more on. A little bit more or less doesn't really add up. Yeah, it's not. A, it's not overall a good flavor. No. All right. I'd give that a four. I'm not. I'm not overly thrilled about that. And definitely no spiciness to it. No heat really. No. Anyways, actually, let's go to the other uh, ch cracker first. What we have here is Wheat Thins Spicy Buffalo flavor, which Spicy Buffalo, it never tends to be hot. Yeah. Buffalo is itself is just a flavor ring, I found. Occasionally you're surprised. Most of the time it's just a flavor. It's not actually spicy. Look at that. Definitely has some orange powder on it. Yeah. Mm, orange powder, I think that means hot. Yes, that's the universal color of food being warm. Oh, it looks like a big, tri uh, big cheese it. That does. Oh, for science. I think science might be responsible for the creation of these abominations. Mm. That's not that good. Actually, it's not that good. But I prefer that over that, to be honest. I'll give you that. Because something about the buffalo flavor in general is always more appealing to me. Yeah. I mean, that's the entire purpose of buffalo, is it's the tastiest spice, hmm. you know, for the lay person. And the tastiest city in um, New York. <laughs> I like those. I, I prefer those over that. I'd give those that five or six you were talking yeah, about. They definitely already. have, like, the buffalo tang. I think there's a lot more flavor that's truer to what they're trying to represent. This did not taste like chili pepper at all. Yeah, that, however, does taste like buffalo spice. That tastes like if you take a pack of ramen noodles, the chicken flavor one, and you just kind of open up the chicken flavor packet and just down that. Mm. That's what it tastes like. Dip some Triscuits in it. Yeah. yeah. This, I mean, Triscuits have a, a very uh, appealing texture to crunch anyways. Not Triscuits, I'm sorry, Wheat Thins. So that added the buffalo flavor. I like these. I'm going to give these a thumbs up. Yeah, I give them a thumbs up too. There's a little bit of burn in the back of the throat. Yeah. 
Just enough to make her realize you're not eating normal wheat pins. Yeah, <laughs> barely. All right, well, which one of these cheese you want to try first there, kiddo? You default to me because I'm your classiest friend. Um, something yes. about the name Screaming Dutchman. I mean, how can you not love that? Yeah, it's a good brand name. Spiced Gouda. Habanero, jalapeno, chipotle. 100% vegetarian. Gluten-free? I don't know. What does that say about animals? No animals were harmed? No animal rennet? I think that's, uh, it's like boiled down animal fat or marrow. I thought it said no animals harmed. I was about to be, damn it. I, I think rennet was what McDonald's used to use. No, it was beef tallow they used to put in their uh, fry oil for the uh, fries. That's why they used to taste better. Tallow, rennet, offal. These are all words for the parts of the animal you don't <laughs> want to eat. That's a, it's a fancy cheese. It comes with a wax. Ooh, nice. And it's in the shape of a wedge, so... Hopefully the wax won't be the tastiest part. Story of my life. I never understood those wax lip candies when I was a kid. Yeah. But God damn it, I chewed on them. I know. It's like, you see how the kids have them, and you don't understand them when you have one, but you want one when you see your idiot friend eating one. I'm trying not to get my hands all over the cheese before you eat it. Try not to cut a finger off, either. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm a pro. He handles knives and buns all day. That's approximately it. three days since an accident. Look at that. It's certainly got chunks of stuff in it. <laughs> That's a fair assessment. It sure does. <laughs> right, let's, uh, I trust you. You want to cut into that little bad boy? Let's see what we got here. A little crossing edge. A little crossing edge. Uh, let's see. It's like, it's like watching Da Vinci paint. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow, that's, uh, that's Goo Gouda. <laughs> smells good. Like any good cheese, I let it sit for about an hour before serving. Cold cheese, it just it doesn't have the right chewy texture. That fat kind of congeals. Yeah. I'm sorry, the rennet. <laughs> <laughs> I like a nice sweaty looking cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, it's, uh... Underwhelming. Yeah, I mean, every once in a while you get a little bit of the, uh, the uh, aforementioned chunks, and you get some flavor from that, but ultimately I don't think it's that... It's I not, think maybe something in the cheese itself cuts down on the, uh, the yeah. spiciness. Steve pointed that out when we were doing cheeses before. It's just uh, the natural cream in the dairy just kind of uh, will negate it. But as far as the flavor, I mean, I'm getting a little bit of a burn on the after, uh, after breath. Yeah, just a little bit. I'm going to try another one of these little pieces here, just because... I liked it enough to go back for seconds. Give it a try. There you go. Yeah. Seeds in there, whole chunks of peppers. You can identify little bits of green, little bits of red, little bits of orange. I don't know, I think they should have let the rennet in. Yeah. It definitely tastes like it's lacking rennet. I'm just going to keep saying rennet. <laughs> Man, now we're going to have to look that up. I'm not going to. I'm happy with being ignorant. It's the story of my life. Alright, well I'm going to put this over here. Nice. Um, as far as a uh, peppered infused cheese, about midway, about a five. Yeah, middle of the road. I didn't really expect it to be anything too wow. And, uh, uh, points for the name Screaming Dutchman. Yes, very much so. I'm going to try some of this wax. That's a bad idea. <laughs> I'm just going to... I prefer a fine cloth-bound cheese. Yes. It holds the flavor longer. That's why they call it cheese cloth. So do you want me to risk me injuring myself? Did that waiver count for a uh, possible bodily injury done while cutting open cheese, or is that simply the spice? Uh, we're going to edit that part out. <laughs> In the meantime, uh, yeah, why don't you, uh, why don't you uh, risk life and limb to open a pack of uh, buffalo-flavored cheese. Actually, you want to show the uh, name of that? Oh. Yancey's Fancy. Yancey's Fancy. New York's artisan cheese. Hey, high five. <laughs> it's got a little buffalo on it. Look at that. And he's got fire coming out of his head. He must be a cool buffalo. I know. He's wearing sunglasses. And he's on fire. Mm. All the cool kids set themselves on fire. Remember, kids, in the hot seat, does not endorse setting yourself on fire unless you want to be cool. <laughs> All right. Well, that's certainly orange. That is, that is, now, uh, now, do you think red wax means spicy? Uh, no. I think red wax means cheese. Mmm. Because, the only, again, the only other place I've seen it is on those uh, stupid lips when you're kids. Yeah, right on. Anyways, that's got little... The, the, the chunks are fine. Yeah, we got more of these chunks. And they're more small, they're smaller and they're spread out more. 
Yeah. It says here these chunks are habanero peppers, jalapeno peppers, uh, and the hot sauce is aged cayenne, distilled vinegar, salt, and spices. Spices. <laughs> Anonymous spices of, Ill <laughs> of undetermined origin. Yeah. Oh, this actually smells like buffalo sauce, though. And it tastes more like that cheese you get in the lunchroom. Yeah, that's the school. orange. Definitely by uh, buffalo. Mm. I think science has managed to uh, distill buffalo essence. Boil yeah, down the uh, entire herd yeah. to get one bottle. Some flavor and touch, swimming pool. Mm. It's not bad. No. Um, I think it's about on par of the other one. I wouldn't say one's better than the other one. This one has a, actually like the top of my tongue, the back of the roof of my mouth is actually kind of lit up a little bit. Oh yeah. I'm gonna say it's a, it's almost got like a, a Velveeta y. That's, taste yeah, that's it. what it's I was Velveeta. saying. When I was yeah. trying to say school, that's what I meant was Velveeta because it's it's much softer yeah. and it's much creamier as well. Yeah, this, the spice definitely lasts. It's not too bad. So maybe this is what we should uh, take away from this, is that the uh, buffalo flavored products actually seem a little bit spicier yeah. and they seem a little bit more true to the, uh, the description on the box. They're better at encapsulating it, mm. whereas, you know, just throwing peppers or the word chili into something right. doesn't always work. So, I mean, really, all they did with that was they probably just took the mix and threw the uh, peppers into it rather than that first cheese. This one, it seems like they have to <coughs> some thought to the overall flavor. Yeah. Ooh, I just got a, I got a little tinge in the back of my throat. I'm burning up now. Nice. Not, not seriously, but it's like it's one of those things where if I stumble over any word, I'm going to start coughing. Yeah. Well, I think that's a pretty good, uh, that's a pretty good uh, cheese and cracker episode. Yeah. Again, I got to give it to the buffalo. Uh, the cheese and the wheat thins both managed to be really... You know, not really spicy, but flavorful. They've definitely got more uh, identifying. Accurate. Yeah. Uh, the Triscuit Thin Crisps. No good. Just tastes like a packet of seasoning. Yeah. And other cheese isn't too bad. The Screaming Dutchman. Uh, but it's just middle of the road. Yeah. For shooting for spicy, definitely doesn't compete. Ironically enough, that was the more expensive one, too. Market basket cheese. What do you expect? Rich people are weak. <laughs> Soft living. <laughs> Come to our hood. You want to... I got nothing. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, with our ocean views. Yeah, ocean views. <laughs> our designer dog breeds and our dog parks. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, we're going to wrap this one up here. Uh, thank you for coming on my show there, John. I thought I could do it again. I'm the classiest friend. At least I could do a show up for cheese. Yeah, he's like the opposite of Steve. Steve's just kind of like a grunting, brutish guy. <laughs> he, like, he has three things. He, he, can he kill it? Can he eat it? Can he mate with it? Sometimes all three. Sometimes all three. So, um... I'm just making fun. Steve and him have been friends since they were sperm. Um, that's an actual fact, too. So, we're going to wrap that one up here. And uh, anything final words you'd like to say to the audience? Uh, buffalo seasoning. Buffalo flavoring. The way to go if you're going with something that isn't directly a hot sauce or a, uh, a pepper itself. Fair enough. I trust his opinion on this. All right, folks. We'll see you next episode.